Hello, everyone, and thanks for staying here. This is a lot of people. Thank you very much. Uh, today, we're going to talk about web delivery experience for React Navi Native and even better. Uh, my name is Elad Betzalel. I'm Elad Aviv. And as Adam <laughs> said, we will both work for Saludo. OK, so uh, first, I'd like to say don't listen to anything Liron said. Uh, and now, uh, let's just dive right in with our example. Um, so. For this presentation, we built uh, an example app. We call it uh, Who Pooped. It shows a list of the dogs we have in the office. And when you tap uh, on one of the dog's names, you get a little uh, toast that says, uh, which dog made a poop. Now, we're obviously gunning for an Apple Design Award. But the only thing that's missing is to move the tab bar buttons to the top part, right? The, the toast hides them. So let's go through the steps we have to accomplish to get this uh, fixed to our users. So we call that the normal process. The first step is obviously write the code and tests. Um, create a pull request. Fix so merge, depends on my review. Um, notice that these three steps are up to me, and they'll be completed uh, as fast as I can do them. OK, the next step is waiting for the entire app CI. And you know someone broke the build. Uh, and wait for the release, for the release manager to upload the app to Apple for a review. These steps are up to other teams in my company, and I can't really make them go faster. They will go as fast as the other teams can actually handle them. Uh, the next step is to wait for evaluation and probably get the client. These steps are up to the app review team, which I don't have any contact with. I can ask for a yeah, faster review. The evaluation process, for one of you who don't know, is the Google Store or the iOS App Store evaluation time, which can take up a lot of time. Right. Native mobile apps get evaluated before they're uh, uh, distributed through the store. Uh, and it's a painful process. Uh, and now I have to wait for my release manager to actually hit the Publish button. And the next step is to just wait for bugs to rise, which is not a great process to me. And now we all know what comes in next. I get rejected because someone added a UI background mode with an audio something, and my user suffers suffer in the meanwhile. And this is not what we would like to call a normal process for us. We would like to be better than that. So while we were all thinking about this problem, um, we realized we are facing a nightmare. Uh, and we tried to think really hard, what, what is it? Why do we suffer so much? And we ended up having three major problems. So first of all, we have short, um, short amount of the development, and it takes really long time to deliver. Um, I am blocked by the entire release, which means I am um, dependent on my colleagues and dependent on like the entire sprint. We want to publish uh, our application once two weeks or something. And then again, we have to wait for someone to approve my application, even though it doesn't know what the application actually does. So we were thinking, OK, what's the ideal? What, what is the dream? How can we solve it? So we were thinking, we would like to release as quick as development. We want to develop it publish, and then it's out there. We want to release independently from other teams that we want to be untethered and just move as our as team uh, work and go by. And also, we wish there was no evaluation process. And for us, it sounds like web delivery, right? This is, this is basically what you do in the web. But also, uh, you, most of you who do native probably are thinking right now about code push which is uh, it's a nice project that uh, enables you to publish your application each time user uh, interacts with the application. But we actually wanted uh, something even better to only ship the changes or ship just small features. So we're, we said, OK, we want web delivery, but better. Introducing Dynamico, uh, it's, a, it's a JavaScript framework written for JavaScript-based uh, application for running JavaScript components or features. Um, we are running this uh, as like a version of it in production for over a year. And recently, we made a complete rewrite um, for you to use as an open source project. 
And let me, uh, let me say like how, it, how it works, right? So let's say we have this application, uh, same as before, but this time instead of having the tab bar, we have a placeholder uh, for a uh, future component to arrive, a dynamic component. Then we have a registry for these components. Think of NPM for components. Uh, you have multiple components with multiple versions of them. And then you have a single component, which is the tabs uh, in this instance. Once the component is being published, it's registered under the registry, and then the application can ask for this component. Simple. Now we have our whole uh, application. But what if we can do this? Everything is a dynamic <laughs> component. Then we are completely untangled from the entire app store. So let's see a demo. Hopefully it works. All right. So let me, let me see if it works here. <laughs> OK, this is really small. Um, let me try to reconnect it. Bear with me. Okay, it's still very small. You have to. You have to manage. Hold the phone. Yeah. Um, maybe there's something. You give me directions. Can you see it? Okay, it's pretty clear. So. Let's say I have. Um, so if you'll notice, I'm sorry. There's the tab bar here below. Uh, it's a dynamic component, and uh, the application works. A lot is demonstrating here live. It's unconnected, unrelated. Okay. And we have this uh, different repository for our tabs, co uh, tabs controller. Okay, it's a different. It's unrelated to the entire application. It just lives by its own. And as the PM wanted, we wanted to just change the tab bar position to be on top. This is it, right? All I have to do is just change one thing and then publish. I don't have to go through through all the suffering. Um, next thing to do is I need to publish this component. I just use DCM publish, which DCM is a CLI we've built for developing and creating uh, dynamic components and then publishing them. Uh, it failed to uh, upload. Yeah. Yeah, right, sorry. Um, I made a change, thank you a lot, and I have to bump the version in order to, to actually make it uh, work. And then I'm publishing, a new version went to the registry, it worked. A new version went to the registry, and now the next time the application will be uh, opened, you just close it. Wait. Give us the yeah. You just close. Okay. The next time the application will and be kill opened. The app, and now you can see that the tab bar. Tab bar is on top. Thanks. Thank you. It works. Thank you very much. It worked. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So what did we see here? Uh, let's compare the new process we've created with the uh, normal process uh, we showed earlier. So we had to write our code and test, just as before, create a pull request, uh, fix all merge, wait for the feature CI and not the entire app, publish it, wait for a, bu wait for a bug to be found. So that's it. These are all the steps, um, but not all steps. Right. Uh, and these are all up to me, and they'll be done as soon as I finish them. Uh, thank you. Um, but not all steps are created equal, right? So these two steps are kind of the same in, in, the, in both the different flows, but this step is actually harder in the normal process. So merging my commit into a huge app that's developed by more than 50 developers around the world is, is a pretty hard process to, to accomplish. Uh, waiting for the entire app CI is even harder and longer. Um, um, Integrating many, many uh, uh, different features and commits is, is a long process and, and really fragile. Uh, waiting for the release is not up to me. I can't control it or uh, expedite it. Again with the evaluation, again with the decline, and you can see where this is going. So this process can take an entire sprint plus the time it takes you to integrate all the things you want to integrate into this release plus the actual re release process. Well, this is as soon as you publish. You just finish it. Yeah. So uh, since we're out of time, if we got you interested, please go to uh, Soluto at Dynamico in GitHub. Give us a star. Open an issue. Go through the documentation that we're still working on. And just talk with us. We really want your input to see if it's actually something that people will use. 
Uh, me and Elad will be here, and you can follow us on Twitter and uh, even then ask us uh, questions over there. Uh, if, again, you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you very much. Thank you.